But first of all, we can reflect more on what was a fantastic Kentucky Derby win at the weekend for Medina Spirit, who is owned by Zidane Racing. And I'm delighted to say that Mr. Zidane, Amma Zidane, joins us on the line. And first of all, we have to say a huge congratulations to you and, and the team, Amma. You must still be absolutely over the moon. Uh, hi, Laura. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. It's just uh, an amazing feeling and, and it's, uh, it's a dream come true. It really is. And the, the funny thing is, I suppose, going into the race, hardly anyone was, was talking about your colt. But I read that you really thought he was going to be able to win this race a few months ago. So you must have been quite confident ahead of it. Well, he's, if you really take a deep dive uh, into his pedigree, it, it screams distance. Uh, and and it, it really shows you, demonstrates that a good horse can come from anywhere, from a flashy pedigree or a not-so-flashy pedigree. And we've been out uh, with our racing manager and other Bob supervision uh, shopping for horses, be it directly through farms or in the in the uh, two-year-old uh, two-year-old uh, breakup sales or yearling sales. But uh, going back to Medina, um, he he showed uh, signs of, of ability all the way when we picked him up in the sale. Also in training, uh, he showed he showed a heart. It took us some time to figure him out. I mean. We weren't very sure if he was a closer or a leader. He, he turned out to be more of a leader. He has a, a heart that is bigger than, than himself. Bigger than himself. So he, he just refuses for anyone to pass him. And we've seen that in the Bob Lewis. We've seen that in, almost in the chamois clothes on less is good. So he's just a fighter, and that's, that's what he needed a horse like that going into the dirt. Uh, as you say, he, he was so tough. He was so brave. And the experience must have been fantastic to be over there with a crowd and to win what must be the, the biggest race you've won. I know you were involved with California Chrome, but as a winning owner, what was it like? Well, well, I mean, you, you come in, you, it, it's really emotional to, to sum it all up. But at the same time, you know, as, as a parent, uh, my boys are young and, 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 and my daughter, everyone's just so proud of it. It's just a legacy you'd like to leave. You'd like to leave something that, that's, that's, in, that's intangible, something that you just can't acquire. Uh, so that's the first box. The second box, the crowd, the energy is tremendous. But to have a dream come true when you just review it, think it over and over, and then just to see it turn into a reality, it's just an amazing feeling, something that is just cannot be compressed into words in an interview. It's just out of this world. It sounds amazing. And um, do you plan to be there for the Preakness? Well, that's the plan, yeah, next week. Um, it's going to be tough. You know, it's very taxing on these horses, especially two-week uh, two week break is not enough. But uh, that's what really separates the, the triple crown winners and the champions from now. So, look, I'm, I'm very happy that we have, obviously, the, the Kentucky Derby and everything beyond that is just icing on the cake. So... We're, 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 we're coming in as a champion, and if we get the Preakness, great. If we don't, then we don't. But uh, we're just going to try. We're going to win, and the is going to give it its best. And, of course, we know you mostly, I suppose, in Dubai for your huge success with Zidane Polo. How did Polo translate to racing? Because you're, you're quite new to ownership. I am, yeah. I started about five years ago. I mean, with Polo, it's more... Um, I, we started 20 years ago with Dudan Polo, and we've been playing the circuit in Dubai and in Europe. So natural progression was 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 obviously racing. I was always fascinated by the concept of of horse racing, and we sort of dabbled with it a little bit. We were unsuccessful. Then an opportunity presented itself to uh, become a partner on California Chrome just a few weeks before before the Dubai World Cup. And sure enough, uh, Chrome. From uh, one, and I thought I was that was the new norm. It's just easy to buy a horse, and he's a great one winner. But little did I know at the time. So it, I took a lot of mistakes and a lot of uh, a lot of recalibration, so to say, in terms of strategy. And here we are. It's the function of working with the right, obviously, the right team and, and having the right uh, professionals in place. Yes. So it was a tr transformation from our graduation, I'd say, from polo to racing. Wow. And are you a lifelong lover of horses? Did you start out playing polo when you were very young? No, to the contrary. I started polo very, kind of late in my early 20s. 
Mm-hmm. But I was always fascinated with horses at an early age, and I always knew that I wanted to do something with horses. And it was something that I just uh, just was, was totally at awe uh, with. So, so yeah, so Polo was, was, was my first entry into the equestrian space. And right after that, uh, racing. Uh, and there's, there's an interesting angle to racing. It's, it's not only a, um, a, a cost per se, but there's an investment angle. If you have a good horse that does very well, there are some handsome returns to be enjoyed there as well. And at the moment, am I right in saying your horses are just in America, or do you have any in Saudi? I uh, know my my my, op- my uh, racing operation is strictly in North America, strictly mm-hmm. in the U.S., and specifically in San Anita, that's the place. Zidane Racing, from an administrative point of view, is based in Lexington, Kentucky. Mm-hmm. I see. And, and you've certainly got the right trainer. Bob Baffert is, is just so good at preparing these horses. Is it true that you met him in, in Dubai Airport? Well, that's when, that's when we bumped into each other. Uh, no, we met, we met way before that. We, we met at Del Mar. Uh, then right after that, we met the Bay World Cup. And uh, right after those two meetings, we, we've, uh, we've kind of agreed to a strategy. But we kind of, everyone got busy doing their own thing. And uh, coincidentally, we bumped into each other last February 2020 mm-hmm. at the Dubai airport. Uh, he was, I think, on his way to the Saudi Cup, but I was traveling. I forgot where I was going. So we had a lot of time. We had to, we had to sit down and we carved out the plan. I mean, we just started just, I mean, putting in all our dreams and aspirations that uh, 15 months later, here we are. It's just surreal. And if there's one thing to say about Bob Baffert, uh, I mean, like I said in my in my winning my winning speech, he he he's an artist. He is someone that just 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 feels it. I mean, it, nothing's mechanical with him, and that's very rare to see in someone who's as successful as as, as Bob Baffert. I mean, you just it's just not a coincidence that you are a two-time Triple Crown winner, seven-time Derby winner. Uh, this man knows what he's doing and I'm just so privileged and honored to call him a friend and obviously our trainer. Yeah, he's brilliant and he's also very good at winning Dubai World Cups. Do you think maybe one day we might see your Kentucky Derby winner here here at Maidan? Yeah, he still has it for sure. I mean, why not? Um, Maidan, uh, Dubai World Cup is, is, is on the international circuit. If we are at the time, uh, ready and fit for it. Uh, I'm sure Bob will make the call. I usually like to stay out of the decision-making process and, and have Bob. I, I usually like to stay out of the way, so I, I let Bob make 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 these calls. He, he usually consults me and we talk about it. But if Medina is, is is in a position where he is ready to show up, we will definitely consider that. Well, that would be fantastic. Well, listen, many thanks for speaking to us. I know you're a busy man. We we really appreciate it, and of course, best of luck with Medina Spirit for the Preakness and and wherever you go uh, after that. Many thanks.